Richmond at the Thrangu Monastery. Dreamcast was subcontracted by Kindred Construction to create and install architectural elements. The scope of this project includes all of the decorative cornices, mouldings, window surrounds, and many sculptural pieces. It took a lot of creative work and problem solving to properly render the architect's drawings into real life, as one of the key challenges of this project lay in the unique and elaborate religious designs necessary for a Buddhist monastery. Behind me are installed window cornices. They are self-supporting GFRC castings mounted on a steel frame. Complementary to the cornices, we have the window surrounds. Most of these are cast as a single piece shell-like element that is strong and easy to mount. The window surrounds follow the basic approach adopted for the Thrangu project, which is that a two-man install crew should comfortably be able to lift and mount all the pieces. The next element we'd like to show you is the five-step moulding. Dreamcast is always searching for the most appropriate material to use in the project. And for this large and elaborate shrine hall moulding, GFRC was not the perfect solution. Due to the seismic conditions in the lower mainland, roof weight concerns, and the crowded nature of the shrine hall, Kindred Construction asked us to make the moulding both light and flexible in nature. Since the shrine hall is supplied with a more than adequate sprinkler system, we chose a polyurethane material for all the elements of the moulding. We're up on the roof of the monastery, and from here you can see the roof fascia, which looks seamless, but is actually cast in modules and installed on a steel beam. The GFRC pieces are designed to work in sync with the contraction and expansion cycles of the metal beam. There are many other cornices and castings for Thrangu Monastery, but this next item is of a different nature to what you've already seen. The dragons are made of an epoxy-based, bronze-filled fiberglass, so they are strong, durable, and closely resemble gilded copper. We're also making similar decorative jewels that, like the dragons, will be roof-rich finials. There are still lots more things to show, and lots more work to do, so I have to say goodbye for now. Thanks for your time.